Jimmy, I got a preview of where we're at now in this country many years ago back in the 60s. I was going to school in Reading, Pennsylvania, trying to finish off a college degree and at the same time trying not to get drafted. Anyway, a good friend who lived his life for music had moved to Reading to hang out a while and got a job in a factory to pay the rent and cover his trips to Philadelphia to see the bands he loved. He would buy the tickets and I would drive us down in my Pontiac. It was announced that Jimi Hendrix would play the Electric Factory in February of 68, and as he was our favorite musician, we had no choice. We hopped in my car and headed for the city of brotherly love. Somewhat before that, Frank Rizzo had become the commissioner of police in Philly, and he wasted no time in putting his stamp on the force. He was a racist bully, just like Donald Trump, and his take-no-prisoners policy was wearing everyone down. When we visited the city a couple of weeks before the concert, we noticed how gray everything had become. We filed into the factory on what we expected to be a historic evening, and we both commented on how quiet everyone was, depressed even. But I wasn't going to let it affect me. Axis Bold as Love had just dropped, and the last track on the record had become my favorite song for getting off. The music seems to be fading, but then Hendrix suddenly shifts gears and comes blasting back in as if he's finally breaking free of these earthly bonds. Of course, I was hoping he'd play it. Hendrix kicked off his set, and I was aware of how passive the audience remained. He seemed aware, too. As he played, I could almost see what he was thinking. When he got near the end, the place where he usually smashes his guitar into an amp or bash it onto the floor, he paused looked at his amp, then glanced at the audience. He looked down at his guitar, then back at us again, and I could see the calculation we weren't worth it. <laughs> the whole dismal city wasn't worth it. He laid his guitar down and walked off the stage. I was bitterly disappointed, but I understood. My friend and I split and headed to my 64 bond bill. I pulled out, just making it through a yellow light, and was greeted by a siren from an unmarked cruiser. I rolled down my window and said, but sir, it hadn't turned red yet. In return, I got a tongue lashing from the nastiest cop I'd ever dealt with as he broke me out a ticket. Thank you. Ah.